Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Maria Ngutu from the University of Nairobi and together with Salome Bukachi of University of Nairobi and Tobias Hala of the University of Bern, we present to you actors and institutions governing common pool resource use for an agro-industrial food system in Northwest Mount Kenya. Out an anthropological study to explore large-scale export horticulture in Northwest Mount Kenya as an agro-industrial food system. Our study was anchored on the new institutionalism theoretical approach to look into the actors, the relationship between actors, their perceptions, and examine institutional settings within and outside the food system. We utilized qualitative methods, namely participant observation, complemented by in-depth interviews, key informant interviews, focus group discussions carried out over an extended fieldwork period to inform our study objective. This data was then coded and analyzed thematically and the actors, rules and regulations linked to export horticulture and access to land and water as common pool resources in Laikipia County, Kenya are are, are discussed and mapped actors within the agro-industrial food system identified as a global value chain and our actors as identified within the establishment are investors who are UK based multinationals producing locally for the international markets and therefore markets including consumers and distributors are another actor and are also based in the UK. Locally, actors identified were workers and outgrowers. Workers, 80% are on short-term wage-based contracts and are mostly female. And outgrowers are smallholder farmers engaged by this horticulture establishment to produce some line crops for them like green beans for the international markets. Local and county governments were identified as state actors relevant to the agro-industrial food system as they influence its operations through authorization and inspection and vetting. Non-state actors were also identified particularly at international level as influencing the food standards that govern the production at the horticulture establishment and define the markets guided by consumer specifications and requirements. Locally, state non-state actors identified included the local food systems in the area and these are represented by agro-pastoralists and smallholder farmers who access common pool resources alongside the agro-industrial food system, namely land and water, and notably in a semi-arid zone where these two resources are scarce and yet very relevant for the production of agro-industrial food system is driven by a neoliberal privatization of land and resource policies feeding the global demand for vegetables and fruits and how it shapes the access to the often short-term livelihoods offering by offering women who represent the larger percentage of workforce with short-term and poorly paid jobs and at the same time increases their workload as it becomes evident from women's perspective on the multiple gender roles away from production. These women also need to contribute to reproductive and community engagement roles, yet most of their time is taken up in short-term, low-paying, unskilled labor opportunities easily offered by the agro-industrial food system. Furthermore, the agro-industrial food system seems appears to have a higher bargaining power because of its resource base compared to the local agro-pastoral and smallholder farmer local actors and therefore then the agro-industrial food system has more bargaining power to select and transform institutionalized access to former common pool resources and competes for these common pool resources in a semi-arid zone with local food systems 
who need this and are vital for local livelihoods and food security. Our study therefore resources and given that these three food systems including the agro-industrial food system represented by this export horticulture the smallholder farmers and the agro-pastoralists coexist in the semi-arid zone and compete for these common pool resources namely water and land then there is potential for conflict and therefore it is important to re-examine the rules and regulations governing resource use in the northwest mount kenya region and its sharing among the food producers to ensure equitable sharing of resources for the production of food and to contribute in a relevant way to the national food security agenda